Hey, I figured out how to make it work. <clears throat> the instructions on mine said left button, but I've got to use the right button. It may shut off, hit it again, and get it to come back on. You should get a letter and a number. You want, that is for lithium, uh, that's for lead acid like we got, and that's for ferrous ion something whatever. Anyway, scroll till you get to the P for lead acid batteries like a golf cart. Then take your total volts and divide by 12. So mine's a 48, I divide by 12, I come up with a four. On yours, you have a 36, divide by 12, you come up with a three. And there's up, other button, go back up to four, five, however many batteries I would've had. But you should end up with a 36 volt, a P03, and then just let it ride. And uh, yeah, and to go back to votes off percent, but I need to get it back to 48. So I need to get back to a four. No. This light is kind of fuzzy because of the uh, glare from a windshield, but it uh, shows 100% battery, and there's two buttons. Now, right there, I got 35, it's pulling, or I got 35.3 volts. That's off, and that's 100% battery. So I'm going to send this back. I've got my thing all wired up, but none of these buttons work. I can't get any functions to come up. The screen lights up, so I know it's got power, but no matter what I do, I cannot get the any functions to work. So I'm gonna see about sending this thing back. The product was sold as being 12 volts to 48 volts. What does it say 48 volts here? Nowhere. This is the second time I'm buying one of these cheap testers and I have to return it.